Alright, there we have it, man. Battery Labanowski. Welcome to uh, episode 8 of our Inverting Pyramid stream. Um, yeah, chapter 13 in the book. It's called Science and Sincerity. John Wilson writes about him. I never knew about the guy. Um, totally new to me, Valerie Labanowski. Um, really ahead of his time when it came to coaching methods. Using science, basically. Big into tactics as well. Um, very pragmatic change in tactics towards times. So One stuck to a singular method. Like a lot of our formations in this stream, he kind of moved the times a quarter, three decades. Um, he did whatever he could to win, really. That's his big thing, so he had no problem changing tactics when going with the times and meant winning. But he uh, he won 33 cups, official trophies, massive record, Dino Kiev, giant to their game. Um, didn't probably get the credit he deserved because he was coaching behind the Iron Curtain, as I say, in his earlier career. The first two decades were coaching the Soviet Union, didn't get a lot of recognition in the West. Um, yeah, 33 trophies, so I'm going, I thought Herrera was crazy when he went 16, but Jesus, 33, and I knew nothing about this guy, that he existed. Uh, yeah, so the only guy was more than was Ferguson, this fucker from Scotland, of course. Um, so here we have the book, they are uh, on the Martin Pyramid. So here's three formations, that he, these three famous teams. So this is the, he was the first um, European, Eastern European club coach to win a European competition, to win the Cup Winners Cup in... 75. So Labanowski's three great teams, three in versus Fennec of Eros, Cup Winners Cup 75, three nil against Lenfo Madrid in 86 here, and here you have his 3-3 three -three versus uh, Bayern Munich 99, that's the famous team, Shevchenko and Rebrov, they were around when I was growing up, they were a fantastic team, came from nowhere, out of Ukraine, took the world by storm in 98-99, treated England in the Champions League, they were young, um, great romanticism about it, the way these teams would come out of the east, from nowhere, and just take on the best in Europe. You went to some Bayern Munich and United in these teams. I think those days are gone in football now, unfortunately. Most of the best players, if there's any good players growing up in Eastern Europe, they'll be snapped up by the big clubs from early age. So the days of 11 Ukrainians coming out of nowhere, taking on the world, or 11 Romanians from Slavia Bucharest, or 11 guys from Dynamo Minsk, Belarusians coming out of a league and just being able to match the big clubs, those days are gone, unfortunately. Certain romanticism gone about it, unfortunately. So yeah, they were kind of the last Eastern European club to come out of nowhere, challenge the world. 2008 Russian team as well, the national team, they kind of came from nowhere as well. Um, got to the European Champ Cup semi-final, lost to Spain, the guys with Arshav and Pav uh, Pavlichenko, probably Berniak, these guys, Louis Zhirkov, they kind of came from nowhere as well, no one knew about them. But anyway, back to Labanowski, his big thing was the system, it was all about the system. Um, he, he was a player uh, himself when he was younger, but he kind of gave up because he was sick. His coach was always negative tactics, how to stop teams. So he got fed up with the game and he walked away from it. But then um, he trained to become an engineer. And uh, he kind of realized when he was trained to become an engineer that it was all about the components of your parts to make an engine. You had all these parts to make up 
to make an engine, and you kind of compare it to a soccer team, you need 11 parts functioning together to make a perfect system. And there's all your system then being better than the other team's system. So if your both systems are the same, you can't switch it out if you draw. So he was all about perfecting a system that would be better than other team's system. And he's all about 11 parts of the system, everyone would part to play. And if you didn't fit that system, you were gone. You'd cut you, chop you. If you weren't willing to buy into the system as well, you were no good to him. It was all about the team, really. The system could be way better than the individuals. He got a lot of criticism for uh, by traditionalists saying he, like, he killed the individual in the team, even the night place for stars. And he, he kind of said that's bullshit. His argument was if you're a great player, you should be able to play with any system. You should be able to fit into any team. The real great players should be able to fit in with any system or team. And his big argument against it was that blocking this guy in 75 won the Ballon d'Or. This Russian guy. And then in 85, Belanov, he won the Ballon d'Or. So his big argument was, look at these two guys, they won the Ballon d'Or. They were great individuals, weren't they? And he also had Shevchenko as well, who won the superstar. Shevchenko even argued, like, was bullshit. He, he loved, he loved Shevchenko, could not find him. Um, and Shevchenko didn't mind playing with the system. Shevchenko said they got the best out of him. Yeah, so that's the guy. I was watching videos of Shevchenko. They were, uh, brought back a lot of memories. Forgot what a great player he was. The guy behind you all, you were dead. Just too fast, couldn't catch him. Ice, ice in the lanes, then it came to finishing. One on one, he'd kill you. So, um, yeah, so here's a key paragraph. So, like Mr. Vidalyaks yesterday, great stream, really enjoyed it, pity about the results. Um, big shout out to uh, the Rocks and Boys as well for retweeting the stream, got a lot of views overnight, which is great. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I've only learned a few things from my stories about the Dutch players, rambling on, and it fills in between games, these stories. So like Michel, Mikhail Zayas, Labanovsky's Dynamo, Dynamo Kiev is where he was for decades, made him into a giant of a team. They could press, seeking to pen their opponents in and win the ball high up the field, so we are pressing on. They are equally capable of sitting deep and striking the counter-attack. As Labanovsky was always a pains to make clear, it all depended on the circumstances. So he's, he loved changes, he didn't mind changing his system, he didn't stick to it a particular way. One thing remains central. Keep the preferred playing area as large as possible, same as the Dutch, while in possession, and as small as possible while out of possession. So he kind of came along at the same time as the Dutch idea. One of his was behind the European, the Soviet wall, behind the block, so he didn't get as much recognition from the West when it came to it. Uh, he was big in the preparation of his team's uh, training tactically, big in the tactics training on the ground, and making sure the training was really good. So here's a bit about it. So Labanowski arrived at Dynamo as part of four. A team of four. He had specific responsibility for modelling players' playing systems. Zelensov was in charge of individual preparation of players. Beleznichev, having been prized from Shakhtar, took care of the actual coaching, while Mikhaklo Oshemakov dealt with what was known as informational support, that is, the collation of statistical data from the games. So it was way ahead of his time, his coaching team there. Very technical, very professional setup in the 70s. It was big in stats as well. They didn't have any videos to. to um, Record stats and stuff. So he'd go inside and he used to write the shorthand. He used to record all the stats during games. He used to pin up on the wall then and um, hold you accountable basically if you weren't pulling your pulling your weight. He loved the stats today. You now he loved the system. He loved to be able to watch videos and analyze guys. But he um, here's an example of his stats. There it is. All the shit going on. Tar yeah, his big thing is tactical targets, tactical goals. It wasn't he wouldn't measure a pair of sixty passes. It was all about if, how many uh, tactical movements the player had. So he actually thought the player without the ball was more important than the player with the ball. So what he recorded was the runs you were doing off the ball, on tactical movements. So if you didn't do 100 tactical movements in a game, he, he'd kill you, basically. So that's like one run every minute, so 90 minutes of the game. So you have to make a run every 30, 40 seconds. So you have to be alive off the ball. That was his big thing. He didn't care how many passes he had. He just wanted you moving into space, make it easier for the other players. So they call them tactical targets. Short passes, medium passes, long passes, head passes, everything. Way ahead of his time here, like. All this stuff going on in the 70s. Yeah, anything else there now I want to run? So I'll have this in my Kindle. This is, we'll do three games. Three games, three games. Big worry again, bloody sweeper. Massive in the 70s and 80s. The sweeper, it's amazing. They died out of football altogether. The sweeper system. Like we, we had Barry Hull shop yesterday, and Danny Blint was also great. Ajax sweeper and Franco Baresi was a great sweeper for Italy and uh, Beckenbauer for Germany, but Jesus, nothing. You've got no sweepers in the 90s and the 90s now. Totally extinct. Kills us, of course, in Championship Manager. I'm not getting any on my sweeper, but anyway, I'm going to stick to it. So we have 4 1 3 2. That's basically enough. That's good. 
Here was sweeper. These guys are narrow at least. Defence midfielder, three in midfield, two. Here was sweeper again. Oleg Luzny, guy ended up at Arsenal. He hit their set pieces as well. Didn't quite make it at Arsenal. Tough enough, but. Holovkov, Kaladze, Husin, he's in the game. Yeah, and he did Rev Rob, of course, went off his spurs. And Shevchenko, so that's a 1 3, 2 2 2, basically. Bit of wit here on the left, bit of wit off, and McKinnon will play. Hope we'll get a few results, we'll do the man justice. Three would have won a few more games yesterday. Great Dutch team, but. So it's, it's a stream all the same. Uh, should the pay really. We'll win a few more. Right, uh, anything else I want to say about him? Yeah, so pressing is a big thing. A lot of players really fit tactically trained into the ground. Science, being the science of the you keep players fit. Again, she's back again. Second stream of the season, second contract, you guys. <sighs> what the fuck are you knocking? Nah, no, I'm not giving it to him. He's on the verge of his soul now as he pulls up his socks a bit. Oh, he's glitchy. Yeah, so Marshall Lippi, the uh, famous Italian and Juventus coach, he called, uh, called Lovanowski the fall of the pressing game. The method of pressing, he said. Really implemented over the decades. So yesterday was a famous day for Lippi. It was um, so on Twitter, it was 16, days, 16 years since the World Cup semi final yesterday against um, Germany. Some guy had it up on Twitter, the two goals in the match, but they had the Italian commentary on. Mayhem. Mayhem, the boys went nuts, the commentators. I would love it if Fabio Brasso got a great goal off his left boot. And then Del Tiro got the winner in extra time. The boys went back crazy in the commentary box, Italian coaches. Fierce passion. They thought it was the greatest thing in the world. There was no one expected them to win that World Cup. Yeah, he said he was a forward pressing game. Right, where are we? Very disappointed in the last game. I was pissed off at that. He's killing me. I had a look for a goalie. Uh, couldn't find him. I tried to get Stuart Taylor on the loan. Um, they won't let him in though. Arsenal. I'm going to go for him again. The other guy was bloody Rob Chutka from United, but he was already gone. He'd just gone as well only a week beforehand. Went to Division 3, Division 2 team. Who we're playing against. Taylor. Or maybe because he's sitting on the bench at the goal unit. One of these guys. If you're not playing any games. March, said about. Back in for a minute. I think it's June, they must have. Don't understand that. Yeah, so. Bloody boy. I'm both of them today now. Um, blah, 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 blah. Last match. Alright, tactics. Love it. I'm gonna get this right now from the start because I make too many mistakes with the individual um, individual instructions and bloody thing I hanged up front yesterday and Collins and the right was not fuck up as well. One of the games. Alright, so we start off with 75 team. The first team, first Russian team to win um our first Soviet Union team really because they're from Ukraine. Kiev to win a European competition, they won couples couple seventy five against Fennec Riveros, one three now. They fought back, their right back was running forward, partly picked off. They had a defensive midfielder, Korfkov is in with a three in the middle and two up front, basically enough. As we know, we were with here enough, this guy's staying back and we're going in the hole here. Might struggle to create goals with this. Anyway, short passing, hard pressing, yes. Also, you could play that if you wanted to. Normal play counter attack as well, as we learned. He was a man of all calls, really. We leave for now. Normal run attacking, but we got home go attacking. Alright, who was where? Alright, now buck up today, my friend. We keep losing the first game of every stream as well. It's like when I change tactics, they don't have the adaptability to change straight away. Is that a stat? Adaptability, not that. Our versatility there now. Is 
positioning. Mm. Alright. Left back victory. I'm getting cheese as fucking. God knows right now. Who's going for the central fence? Lakers playing 7. Race side. 7 by 1 8. He's coming around. To go for buffer and race side. Soldier playing one of those, isn't he? Yeah, he could be the left side as well. Sorry, no butler. Talbot should be perfect for you. I'll put Rose in there. Stick Talbot up midfield. Sharp midfield is now for this one. Thompson. Oh, yeah. Fucking injuries yesterday at the end of the stream. Barnes. Benjamin. Dolpho. Dolpho will be perfect for midfield in this. Man, I know that's the middle field. I'm going to have to like hang in the midfield centre, am I? Or to go attacking. Not ideal. Renner there. Bob. We'll start with Masoudi in a. Collins has to play. Dunwell. Stonebridge. Renner. Bob or Muir. Not Bob. Rose. Goalkeeper. Lakers are lucky flues out there now. Probably two attackers on the bench today. One, two, three, yeah. That'd be good. Alright, now get the team instructions right and start. Passing, it was on team. Tackling hard. Pressing was one. We go with auto press. Fuck up that yesterday. We pressed as a team from the start. Made back four sitting back, probably ripped us apart. No one three roll this time, lads. Washington Collins. Four runs, stuff at three, three midfielders, how them? There's Talbot, no, you stay. Long shots, yeah, go on your long shots, lads, strikers, midfielders. How is your chance now, kid? Do something for us. Through balls, here, man, try through a few balls there, playmaker. Crossing, yeah. Marking man, man, race. I actually played both feet, doesn't he? Yeah, save that now. Three games. All right, come on, let's get a win to start. Bristol 4 4 2, very similar to us. Savage, Robbie Savage, too bad there. Not too bad. Yeah, man. Nine and a half grand. Yeah, that's there. Lee Peacock, Chris Pratt Williams. Alright. Come on, lads. Let's get a win. We start playing the table here. Leave it on normal. Yeah. Come on, let's create something. Immediately the problem is where we're going to create our chances. If we're not playing guy in the hole. We're not playing any width. Jesus Talbot. And uh, we'll see how we get on with the attacking. Come on, that's the ball in it. Shit. Yes, come on. Shit, they're all over us. Oh. Right, I've got to push this guy forward, maybe. Or push this guy. Come on, get forward, ye. Have a come on. This would be ideal position for him. Oh, God, I've created nothing. The first shot to get in target, I know it's going to be a goal. Just feel it. Come on. Nah, they're all over us. Oh, Duff, come on. Oh, you can get. Come on. Shit, here we go. Come on, hold out. Alright. Ooh, this was better than the first two, first games of the last two shoots. Jesus, 
We only want that tag, we're lucky. We're not creating much. Damn it, that'll be a problem. The ideal year of a golf one will reveal great chances. Collins is only going to play well. Lacking with this formation. Probably with 11 tackles. Still only could have 6 though. But they were 4th, so it's not too shabby, I suppose. Mark Slater. Good. Uh, yeah, Martin's poor. Yeah, so I was looking at Shevchenko, uh, his goals versus uh, his goals for Kiev, and he was just, as I said, as soon as he sprung the off trade trap, he was dead lax. He was just so fast. He's a brilliant finisher as well. He's called the White Ronaldo because he scores so many goals. Um, yeah, they don't want to let him go. He's sitting on the mission. Yeah, he likes in the veins, can't finish, ain't just sticking the net like that, no bother to him. He scored a fucking shitload of goals for AC Milan as well. Really successful there. Then he went to Chelsea and it just didn't work at all. Whatever style of play Chelsea were playing didn't suit him at all. He only scored 22 goals there, two seasons. Didn't fit in. Don't think they played like, uh, to get him in behind, to use his pace in behind, because Torres had the exact same problem with Chelsea, same kind of player, played off the last man, used to break in behind defences at Liverpool. He doesn't success at Chelsea either. Two similar players but couldn't. Whatever system where Chelsea were playing it just didn't, didn't suit the boys. I think Liverpool knew Torres was the legs with God. I think Liverpool were just like to get rid of him. Lost his pace. As soon as he lost his pace then that was it. Yeah, I still love Torres when he was at Liverpool. Hell of a player to watch. But uh, Crespo never got into it Chelsea. Crespo, Shevchenko, Torres spent big money on those three and they're superstars really. Couldn't cut it there, whatever was going on. Strapped away off field. Shenanigans in London. But uh, fans didn't care because they had Drogba. Drogba was a superstar, he was really good. It's fantastic for Chelsea, really competitive guy. Love winning, love winning cups. Brilliant in the air, powerful, strong, fast, could shoot off both feet. So it took Mourinho up there really, could do it all, but could do it all, but he loved his attitude, his winning attitude, it's all about winning. Here's competitor. Saw him playing, went to see uh, Chelsea versus Fulham years ago. Saw him in Stamford Bridge, good old atmosphere, because it was a derby. But um, Hodgson, talked about Hodgson and uh, my WM, Chapman, uh, disciple of Chapman, talked about him in the second uh, stream. Hodgson was queued up, he's in charge of Fulham. And he kind of realised that Trogba was, uh, he was traditionally he was marking big centre halves every week, central defenders, tall guys were good at hitting. But he was just very good at jumping, a vertical leap. He wasn't a tall guy, but he was powerful right but he just used to get, he used to get, up, get up above these guys too often with his vertical leap. They, they weren't good at getting off the ground because they were big guys, but they could head the ball well. But he was beating them right now and again in the air, he hard to cop this. So what he did was stuck his left back in for the kickouts. So the guy came called John Pencil, yeah, Ghanaian guy. Another guy built like brick shit house, exactly like Drogba, really athletic guy. But uh, he swapped the central defender and Pantsler for the kick out, so every time the ball's kicked out, it was Pantsler and Drogba who squat together for like a war between the two of them, so they're both similar build. Pantsler was also really athletic, very good in the air. But yeah, a fierce battle left there, it's great watching. I wouldn't be a fan of the long ball, but she's those two guys took clumps out of each other left there. Pantsler was very good though, I was wondering why they didn't just leave him central defence. <coughs> but, um, Got my answer in about 10 minutes from the end of the game. They went up for a ball, and whatever the ball broke, popped up in the air, and Pencil went for a stupid bicycle kick. Clear, clear, crazy head the ball stuff, really. Now he took Drago's head off. But uh, bicycle kick, yeah, fucked it up in the air. Caused awful crazy, uh, mayhem. But he's a real kamikaze player, like, it was all the ball or nothing. So if you're playing a guy like that, central defence. Couldn't, it's too risky. If you missed the ball, he's all for the ball, like, going for hell bent. He'd need too many gaps in mind if he was a central defender. Crazy fucker, Kamikaze. It's great to watch though. He ain't played there for two or three seasons, John Pencil. I was off the scene then. I thought he'd be a superstar after watching that game, but couldn't get over his left and matching Drogba, the left back. Right, that was a good draw away from home at various points going forward, attacking wise. I'm worried about that. I'm going to leave it anyway. Who didn't pull a shift? Soldier, yeah, it's alright. Tab was very disappointing. Just came in. Stats very good, like. Give him another run in there. Rose the right when he came in. I mean, no one stood out except Collins. I wonder if he get Collins free roll again, I guess, there when he starts scoring. They're going to get man of match. Are you kidding me? It's a regular occurrence now. Paul Jones. Oh, yeah, it's good. Sitting in there. Right, another 4 for 2. Bobby Zamora. 
Jeff Pitcher, really goodness, and Danny Collar. He's sensationalist. Don't worry. Collar is very good as well. Sounds good to say, you know. Heading, jumping, marking, pace, positioning, strength. Takes 7.56 continue up in Division 2. I'm going to put someone on Pitcher so it'll ruin us. I will I? Do I drag Tavel up the middle, you see? And I don't want Mahan being stuck marking him. We'll leave it. Fuck it, Bob. Yes, Bob is already getting lucky. Two of the slow balls now. Fucked. Didn't last time. Another one! Jesus. Alright, what are you going to do? I'm going to have to change this. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm going to have to give him three chances. Who's marking him? Bloody hell. Who the fuck is marking Zamora? What's he playing? The left. Soldier, fuck's sake, you think seven? Come on, lad. He's not a bad start. <laughs> oh, why are you on zone? Yeah, I'm leaving zone, I suppose. Pick up picture, I suppose. He's on yellow already. Fuck. Yeah, we're in trouble with this formation. We are in trouble with it. Pendy? Yes! <laughs> Never change the penalty taker, of course. Yes, man, boy. Good, 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 good. Did not deserve that after a start there, are you? Oh, Jesus, goal is playing. Nightmares for both teams. Come on, as a zone, but who wants more? Come on, Don Well. Keep going there. This guy's still playing bloody six after scoring. Get in. Let's get another one, lads. Shit. Come on, get in. Here we go. Shit. Stonebridge. Go defensive or attacking. What would Lobanovsky do? He'd be all about the result. Get in there. Defensive. We're going to concede here. I can see it. Oh, God, nine shots we have. Pitcher. Come on, lads. We need to win. Hold out. Jesus, bats to the wall. Come on. Yes, Stonebridge. Come on. Crossbar. Yes, four points, two games. Yeah, even enough games, to be fair. We did not start to give it three goals, Zach. Two of them are offside, we're lucky. Take it. Win is by good man. Duff, Mahan, Talbot, that's the job. That's what I want from him. That's what I expected from him. The Neaton Borough, get my reserves to run. Yeah, so let's talk about the Kiev team. So they were um, a little bit wrong, kind of romantic idea, but a lot of teams coming out of um, the East Fuck, now the United game back to Kiev. 2 1, 2 1 to United. Missed those goals. I was going to say, man, didn't you see them? Um, yeah, so they came out of East, uh, of Eastern Europe. No one really knew, knew about them. It was kind of the same in 2008, Russian team that got the Euro semi final with Arshavin and. Um, Pavlichenko, Progreniak, and these guys, and they had um, Kurzhakov and Zhar uh, they had lots of big names in Europe after New York 2008, Zharkov and these guys. But um, I went to see Blackburn, I followed Blackburn, I went to see them in London against um, Arsenal at the Emirates. Uh, Arsenal got his first goal that day for um, for Arsenal, his first Arsenal goal. But uh, they won, it was 4 0 basically. But the uh, problem was. Black one playing Gail Give, left back. He's a real uh, veteran player, Harley Pro. He's good, he did a good job for us in fairness. Always put in shift. Um, he could defend, but you see no pace back. So Walcott was destroying him on the opposite side of the right flank. Ashley playing 4 3 3. Uh, we'll get you still up in a contract. Um, Walcott was pissing all over him. Man couldn't handle his pace. Give, no pace. He was an experienced defender, he knew how to handle guys, but couldn't. Just Walcott was fucking too fast for him. So what happened was the defence had to shift the cross then to accommodate because Gibe had been destroyed. So Sam and Nelson and Lucas Neal and the rest of the back four shift the cross, bailed the man out, 
Så det är absolut så det är lätt low space reaction. Så det är lätt men så fan så den där program. Vi ska vara i en gång där vi går på bara och då hinner det inte så mycket Vi just step over the walls fast because we're like we're in there. Vi kan spara the byline again like by the six yard box. We turn back in then and every time the host did I I I call it he's going square the ball. That's all I can do from that from that angle. Pass it in like look for a striker square the ball and then net knock into Paul Robinson was in goal from the same from that one. But he didn't, he fucking lashed it. He roofed it into the top of the net. Everyone the whole stage how he's gonna pass it and just smashed it high up into the roof net. It's crazy goal, great goal. It's great he's been visual flair. And the stadium went bonkers then it's his first goal. It's like he arrived to replace Henri. False dawn. This was a lot of rubbish from people see then, cheesy, but it bought his feet, he was fucking outstanding. Just a brilliant player with all his feet. He was small, though, and he was stocky, plump, but he wasn't mobile enough for the Premiership. The Premiership was all about running and hustling and bustling. He didn't have that athleticism. He wasn't going to survive. He would be better off in Europe, a more technical league. He's a lazy bastard as well on the field. Never track back. Well, I need to give my squad a bit of a run. The problem is this guy's lack of match practice. Yeah, he's going to leave you and everything. I don't care if we lose this anyway, to be honest. Uh, it's a bad true dab, actually. I do care, guys. Lavanovsky would have cared. He won 33 trophies, he's going to have them for every trophy. Right, we've got has a chance. Right back, soldier. Both was injured now. Month, fuck, I was off at the class change of training, of course. That was the big thing. He's very serious about training. When he had stats and measuring players' attributes and training for the opposition players, opposition teams, it's very specific in how we should play against them. So I have to change our training, that was the big thing I was going to do. Edit to uh, fitness, he's big in fitness so he could press teams. Russians, of course, back then, behind the Iron Curtain, big in fitness. A um, lot of fucking drugs and legal stuff going on as well. It's like that bloody scene from Rocky. Um, Ivan Drag was training with all the machines and uh, things hooked up to machines and all this stuff. That's the Russians were like, really. Big into it. So we have to go fitness intensive. We have to go tactics intensive. Intensive. We're big into preparing tactically for opposition teams. So we're going to put these in light there to accommodate for. We're going to get a shit of injuries here now. But I, I want to stay true to Labanowski's training methods. That's the way he was. Actually, he said his goal was um, he trained shit out of his teams. John Lewis said this in the book. But it was that the aim that like they would peak at certain times of the year and they'd be tired at certain times of the year. So they'd always be tired at the end of the year, but they're tight wrapped up with five games to go. That was his goal. He could be tired at the end of the year, he didn't care. So the title was already won. And you were to peak then when the European competitions were coming around. And we're going for training intensive. Best enough, lads. We've been paid enough. Ah, uh, la la la, Laker. Uh, Matthews. Rose Thompson's not got much of a run this year. Either. A run. And we feel Muir. Rose and Bob. Bob Dub Dub, Red Run Stonebridge. Dunwell, Hausham, Talbot, Victory, Williams. Yeah, so that was uh, when I went to see Arshaven. It's pretty good, right? Didn't really make it. Another story about him there, I'll tell you after this game. Found it on YouTube when I was looking for this goal. Looking for that goal, actually. Black and gold. Who's my captain? Later. Right, lads. We'll go attacking. This isn't the League Cup at all. What are we doing? Oh, FA Cup. Brentford, Ali Graham. Did in trees well. Anyway, I can put that on my second team to give him a run. Yeah, he needs to start giving him games. Oh, fuck, look at this. Hate that shit now. They run out to the sides and my central defenders are really man marking they'll go, oh yeah, follow up. And you do an anchor of space, space here. So, gotta change that. That's why I always do the opposition tactics. So they don't get caught like that. The zone. Don't follow them up there, guys. Don't worry about it. Why is there a rose in zone? I don't know. Don't worry, I have to see those marking. Walk on Stonebridge. Yes. 
That's his first goal for the club. His first goal of the season. Sure, he scored earlier, didn't he? I was all class for that. Alright, right, this formation is more solid with the bat, at least. Touch wood. Yeah, yeah. nine chances, four for still rare, enough chances. Goal is in your right, in fairness to the lad. Match, match practice probably won't give him enough games, stats aren't bad, like. They developed him. A lot of bob, this shit. Look at that, ten tackles. A lot of bob, boy, it's what I like. Yeah, look at those, um, Dino Kiev balls, the ones from the 98 Champions League, 99. Pitches are an awful shit, right now it is. Especially the Kiev ones, because with the middle of their winter, like, they're an awful fucking mucky. Stop off, they're in a holiday playing that. Yes, come on! Hitting their strap, oh, bollocks. Too good to be true. It'd be nice to get the clean sheet. Yes! That's fucking great, no? Good job. 3 1, he's this thing, what? Yeah, you can see more solid with early four at the back. Hold on, Bob. Put your hand up for a place you have. Oh, she's wearing Division 2. I'm gonna talk about Division 3, yeah. Oh, she'll be deep himself. Anyway. But yeah, I was following this video of Arsh, and like a Russian news uh, report one. So, he yeah, at the end of his career, he finished his career, he's 36, 37, he's out in some club in Western Russia. Uh, sorry, Eastern, Eastern Russia, out in the wilderness, basically. So when you, when you finish up the club, the first thing you do is get back to St. Petersburg. Back to civilization again, the job as a youth coach in the club, because he was a bit of a hero there, a bit of a legend. Stady Bridge, had a good draw there. Um... And of course, the first thing he did when he got back to civilization was went to a strip club. Uh, he's famous, he's married, his wife's like social, like, and like a Rebecca Varley, so everyone knew he was married. But went to a strip club and he got shit faced, came out with two women, of course, at the maggot. But uh, a cop video then got his camera phone with two women. But uh, what the, what the, that wasn't bad enough. Came out of the uh, strip club and then taxi, no, no, taxi not for him. He ended up going home riding a horse home, hopped up on his horse. Rode off into the sun, into the sunrise with two women trailing after him, taking him home. Three o'clock morning, pissed off his head, riding his horse home. <laughs> I'm actually not do taxis. I just ride my horse triumphantly home. Four o'clock in the morning. Two women walk after him like fools. <laughs> there you go, cutting the camera phone. It's a big story in Russia. Fucking eat it. <laughs> Fucking price stuff. Just ride my horse home into the sunrise. Bye, bye in the morning. <laughs> right, we have to move to up again and play it. <coughs> we start, if we lost Norwich, we start uh, here. So, three and we have to move on now to new formation D. Next one is. D19. Eighty-six teams that beat left on Jet Tree now. Yeah, for fun. Big fucking pound this one as a sweeper. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, stick to it, this was streams all about change formations. Yeah, so Lobanovsky actually died, um, probably actually in this game, he died in 2002, he had a stroke on the side of the pitch, he was watching the game, he actually had a heart attack the year before that, so um, Houston travelled to the away games, the away European games, they, if you go on flights, he didn't travel, his man was still the man, he didn't travel to us after his heart attack, but he had a stroke then, so he was watching in a league game, uh, collapsed, rushed him off to the hospital then, he was in a, like, a ventilator, like, four for six, seven days, didn't survive, not a bad well, he was only 62, Imagine a guy like him going watch a football match would be exactly what he wanted. Obsessed about football. I'm gonna have a look from here actually. He's probably still in this game, I wonder. Nah, he's not. Assistant manager. Why is the manager there? Maybe he gets sacked in the game. Yeah, this could be when he wasn't travelling the games, I see. Assistant manager. Anishenko. 
eighty three thousand years day on the soil heating trees they look like when you're seeing the pitch there. Fuck the pitch is shit. This is what they're playing. No, they're not playing sweeper. But it might probably some ninety eight five. Nine out. That's interesting. <laughs> Alright, so next one. So he was stayed. And we just sweep off, we play narrow though. So the book kind of looks like that. Could be that too, we see. Kind of look like these guys are playing in behind. And there's more, yeah. More like that. Oh, you look, 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 for a struggle and push it way up there. So yeah, three at the back. They were narrow, yeah. <coughs> Into the fielder, sweeper. Yeah, that guy just, this guy's pushed further forward and just push him up, I guess. Really. Put him in the hole, I'm struggling. It's a very narrow formation. Fucking hell, I'm just going to try to batter teams on the middle. Yeah. Fucking sweepers are a nightmare. I can't get a good game of them. Oof, again, same problem. Who's my sweeper? So, Jeff. Rose. Alright, for three centre fielders this time. Popping Duff, actually, he's popping pretty well. What's this guy doing? Yeah, he's not doing average. Two assists, I usually get loads on him, but I play him in the MLC position. Yeah, I did well last season. Duff is. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you gotta rest three games stuff. Yeah, play ball really normally. Drop a kanga maybe, you go a game. Yeah. Done with our stone bridge. Yeah, stone bridge. The dock is back, yes. And Barnes is back. Shit, they play with four guys now. I can decide Barnes or Kanga. A lot of options there. Benjamin, he's still injured. It's a doubtful. 100%. Brilliant. Brilliant. Put him in midfield. This role. Alright, come on, guys. Let's go. So the ball is now the reserve soldier reserve show during the week. Defensive hall. Oh. Come on. Come on, Stormbridge. Fuck we're killing them, are we? Seven four, yeah. And they're nothing much for it. Ah, shite, Moss. Stupid. Stupid. Come on, Carl, let's finish one of them. It's got a little all written all over it. Yes, Talbot. Better come at us. Save Collins. Second half, take him off, is it? Yeah. Sulking that he didn't get to play his cry for your all. He's the fuck of the team. Why do you not play a fuck number two? Ah, oh, lads. Get another one now, come on. Come on, lads. Be <coughs> close to comfort. Come on, yes! Another win though. Fuck, we trounced them there. Take your chances, that's my shooting practice and training's on low now, of course. And uh, Beresford, yeah. I'm getting sick of this now, the goalies. Coming up playing World Leagues against us. Jeez, we played well. Bob is flying. Stonebridge is flying. I got the assist. Bob. My first time I have him in the game. So 
find a few passages of that. In this case, training methods, see if I need to move up quickly or away through games. Oh yeah, he's got his lists and his stats. So on the one time I was training base for hung, hung lists of demands Labnowski placed in his players. Significantly, of 14 defensive tasks, 4 concerned with the distribution of the ball and the establishment of attacking positions once the ball had been won. There is no notion of simply getting the ball clear. For that would have been to surrender possession and thus place their side back on the defensive. 13 demands on forwards, as well as including a line about pressing, an attempt to regain possession high up the field, are also dominated by calls for movement and the search for ways to shift the ball away from areas which the opponent with a high concentration of players. So press high and get the ball into space, then we win it back. Nobody compiled such lists before, but their content, even if the emphasis was on possession, was extreme. It's far from revolutionary, because the Dutch are at the same time as well. Rivers by Lancaster. Next year, just fucking get man off the wages. Well, he's a massive wages as well. But yeah, so I'll ask you, the balls to do with that. Don't drop him. God, he's fucking useless at the moment. Not that I'm too bothered. Green, we've got the equalizer. We were shooting on sight for that guy. Great to dribble and shoot. Defender on the tight Bang with his left. Another one goalie should have saved. Another English goalie. Fuck it, goalie. That was an easy one. Jesus, that was poor. Get an Irish guy in the bench. Irish goalie for Mark Travers. Penalty incident. And ball. Black put away. We're climbing the table, right? We still haven't played us yet. Just outside. Right, we go to the same. Same as these. Rather than right. I'd love to get it off, but I couldn't drop this guy though. <laughs> Ball got the last two games, in fairness. Yeah, I'll stick to it. I'm going away from home, but tap here now. Actually, I'll just turn about great goal. It's a great finish. Finished. Oh, Nick, you're not even lazy. Poor attitude in the field as well. Marshy out. Yeah. It's for shit. He's got mint in you. Why do you keep doing that? No, for the guys running in. Check mint and don't let him arrive in there on, on, on Mark. So this is their 85 team. Balan, I've got a Ballon d'Or. This formation. Get them all up here. Hold up, lads. Oof, hold up. Yeah, oh, geez, we're doing alright. Need to back them. Man, Talbot. Stonebridge. Bit harsh, but fuck it. Their game goes by when he doesn't get a yellow. Fucking Talbot. Man, you're close to being whipped off. Still feeling playing for him. Hardly. Say hold up, that's. Right, you have to get this guy in. 
He is playing. Oh, fuck's he down League 2? I've already getting him. So you can't. Not going to Jesus. Ah, oh, good. Decent wages. Not crazy wages, that. Great signing. Okay, he's off for, for the two team. A million quid. Right on, Rod. Calvo Garcia is on. Okay, ruined me last year. Calvo better be picking him up still. Come on, lads. Let's rob this. No. Alright, I suppose not too bad. Collins isn't fucking doing it all. This is the information. Jesus Christ, not her. Collins is not. Oh, he's right. Winner of that verse. I suppose where they are on the table. Not a bad draw. Say the one would be nice. Put some playoffs to it. It did. Goal difference. Yeah, third string. Our first season was the Hungarian. It was a disaster. One. Dropped right down the table. But uh, hopefully this one could pick us up now. Keep us up there. Playoffs. Yeah, so he was like, um, Lablowski was like a Dutch team, he had the ball, he was 11 attackers. I can check his contract, but we didn't have the ball, he was 11 defenders. So sometimes people say that football's meaning is only an attack, Lablowski and Zilensa went like down. But it is nearer to truth to say that when we possess the ball, we are attacking. When our opponents possess the ball, we are defending. From this fundamental football strategy is derived how, where, and when to attack or defend. Possession was everything. The approach could hardly have been more different from that preached by the likes of Charles Hughes and Edgar Alderson. It's England at the time around about the long ball and being direct. The more times you got the ball into the box, the more shots you could have a goal. The more shots you had a goal, the more goals you scored in the pot. So these guys all keep the ball, keep the ball. We won't concede if we're not giving away the ball. Yeah, so look, the contracts now are so there's our and the most shot I see in this game. Or scouting. It's more of a small tactics really haven't been that much player recruitment to be honest for now. These guys should be good enough, these players to to compete in Division 2 anyway. Lower League Legends, Dolphin Victory and Dolph Ball. These guys. I wonder is there anyone else we want actually? Let's have another look, see. Goalie stayed up from it, touch wood. Carl Robinson, yeah. Could be, could be a good addition. Especially if they're playing three midfielders at the moment. Craig Strachan had him for bad by Dagmar Sage. Save. Oh, seven is wanted. You're not even playing. Chris Morgan, yeah. Don't think it's done any better than what we have. Could be good that for the You just keep playing. Mason's off, good. Shit, that's a good contract now. I was uh, not tuned in. Try to get our reserves off. Got these games. Right, it's our last game. The sweeper now. Then we want the famous Kiev team of 98-99. Marsh. Rose again. Rose like a salmon. Thompson giving the game. Weir. Adolfo. Like a Kanga. We got to Barron's run. So he doesn't make any dent in that position. He might be back in the next game. Actually, the formation that they is going wide and left. Uh, Benjamin. Stonebridge. Renner. Unlucky. Augustin. Glowing in totally. Yeah, they're lucky too not to get a run. And yeah, fuck them. Steely Bridge. 
get at the net. And you see the rules, the short passing was actually it was great. I was going to say great, a lot more, but today we're actually great. Fuck that. Well, you take the miss, I suppose. Ah, lads, come on. Jesus. You just pass this out, feel it. Oh. Why Stormbridge? It's a good stream so far. Why Benjamin? I should be cleaning up this level. I'm playing non league opposition. Goal is gone. So we'll get confidence up now, let's go, go at them. That's better. Turn on the style. Another one, we can get trees of uh, selection headaches now. All these attacking guys are scoring. Like you can get two assists. The Dalfo, 12 headers, you only want two. 10 for Eki Kanga, 10 for Benjamin, 9 for Stonebridge. Good. Hopefully, you'll find your feet now in Vision 2. But now they know that I was only cut, at least for winning one game. The first two streams we were very getting missed. We're very close in all the games though. We're having a good fight now. What have I bought him for nothing? Fuck, for peanuts. Happy as a super though. I'm a DMC. Good here though. Uh, Robinson gone somewhere, is he? Cheltenham. Too slow, too slow. We don't really need him at the moment, I think. Man can get injured, then we need him. Right, so we're going to our next one, which is their Dino Kiev team. Oh, look at Claire. Oh, look at this guy, yeah. It's good enough, right? He's playing the right as well. Peanuts is all 8,000. Do I need him? Do I really need him? No, I don't need him. I have this. I do right in there. Assist bands. The res is the reserves. Alright, so they play the sweeper, three at the back. They can play wider. Fuck. Play wider. It's going to keep us open. They are usually going forward, stuff can do that us. So it's 2 2 2 then. They play two up front. They're down the hole here. Batch, which they're down the left. This guy will be off to the right then. Like that. Play it like that, or we could do like that. Either are really. Hussin. He's in this game, of course. Hussin. The DMC. We can play it like this. See how it goes. He can play there, he can play there, they can play there. He can't play there, definitely not. He can play there, he can play there, he can play there, yeah, 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 yeah. he can't play there. Play it for a quarter with McGlinchey. Kanga, come over there for Talbot, play on the right. Put you on the bench in case he needs to push you up. Can't drop any of those guys, they're not getting games though. Yeah. Not for not fit. I don't even. Nuneaton Borough. A fucking hell, the penalty. Shit. Shit. Kill oh, the formation experiment now as well. Ah, son of a You fucking paid for this, my friend. Nine minutes, just hit the Benjamin one. Oh, that's a killer. Fuck's sake, it's a deep wide. Let's 
Fox is going to the box, isn't it? Give you a pin, please. No, you're a fucking mess. Ah, uh, that's what I meant to do. Fuck up now, because I'm playing three wide. Fuck. Immediately wide open at the back. Actually, we push these guys up. Fucking dick rip it. Nah, fucking cunt getting uh, fine in there. Using the language. Sick and I was wearing the Vans trophy, that's the only thing. It's all bleak. Look at that tail shooting. Should have been way down our training methods. That was fucking. Was a good run going on. Shit. That was three months. God. You can stay in the bench over three games. Give a fuck. Dope. Fucking weeks wages. I can't get a week by kicker on this. Fucking hell, I'm gonna find him through his face. Gosh, yes. Cost the game, and the FA says really bad attack game, three game suspension. I'm bitching about it. Fucking sit on the bench next three games. It's the first time I've run up <laughs> that fuck in all my years, in all my saves playing. <laughs> Worried about formation now, we're on the back, Jesus. Three wide, back three. That killer back, that is. <coughs> well, sorry, it's just one game out of the way, we're talking about two games or at least. Let's throw one of up, you know, shot. Oh, we like to give away one three two. Mr. Crack again, actually. Four and a five for our lives. I'm gonna come down and sketch you in the back. Test stream contract. Nah. I wonder what a doctor did, let's have a look what I did, what did we do? Anyway, I overreacted fine too, <laughs> two of these wages, my rage. Yeah, I'm off top of the this guy. That happened. Finishing good, pace, off the ball, jumping, here we go. Yeah. Have a little look, see? We're arriving club, come on, we're hardly arrivals. Easier way ahead of us. Don't get your game or not. Um, yeah. You hacked down the answer with two feet. No, forget about it. Who complains about Spanish can't tackle? What's it? What's he doing? Alright, who's playing? Loot the way. You rethink. Rose victory, Duff, Rayside, Pals injured, can't play Rose, can't play Thompson, and Augustine, Barnes, Dolfo who's unhappy, Holland and Dunwell, Stonebridge, Benjamin, it's Benjamin the Lucky, it's not Benjamin, it's not Collins and Mel on the street, what about Mahan? We lost an order at Mahan. Oh, 
Another lucky as well. It can get. This can actually attack as an adventurer guy. Just unlucky for Stormers, really. Yeah. So all these guys could be here, really, as well. Yeah, or there. Yeah. It was narrower. This guy was narrower than Lushni. Yeah. Anyway, let's see how it goes. It was way up his back, this formation. Like, thought of the pack. Come on, all over. Get in. Get in, boy. Yeah, boy, don't know. Yes, right top. Hold it up, lads. Keep it out. Four to United, it's another ball. Get better. Oh, we left him back into it. So we scored. Thompson, captain, not doing it. Victory, right side, my defenders, the boy Williams. Liam George, Irish guy. Lower League legend. Chris Klein is Irish as well. Oh, is Ozzy. Bring in Tommy Klein. Come on, hold up, lads. Come on. Why it's all for? It's all forgiven. All is forgiven. Come on, let's hold it. Hold on. I'm sure we're not going to drink all these saviors. Sorry, kill him in the last drink, Barnes. I put Renner on the bench. No. So you put your right foot there. Rose is also fucked. And Benjamin. Don't like making three changes. Foot injury. Nuclear. Don't like doing that, but I don't know. Yeah, they're just as good as us. Bad feeling about this. Need three changes. Hold on. Lucky. Go on, get it. Yes. Ah. Oh. That would be nice. Clean sheet. Playing well. We're playing well, lads. We're getting the confidence down, Vision 2. They feel we're here to stay. Pay on this ground, getting suspended. Well, he'll give me the V sign now. He asked for it to go. Finding two weeks away, just playing for free, and he's still doing it. Done well. Assist. Brilliant. Three points off. We're looking up. Should be looking behind us as well, though. There for anyone. Please, we're going to our last game. Keep the Lobanovsky. And let's go to the kid. No, we're not it, are we? Three, yeah, we are. Three, six, yeah, one more. We have one, two, three, four, five clean sheets. Brilliant. And just the one goes into it. This was fuck off. This is an awful disaster of a game. The only stain on the stream now, lads. We sit down in the dressing room now. Have a talk about how we finish out these streams. We're not finishing well in the last games. Another one, is it? Fernandez, 5 2. All clear, he is. Talk to me, like your friends there, like, could be the way to sign for Ronaldo. I really, I really hope so for him. That he's going to change the midfield and a few big power positions for you, like, right? But uh, yeah, this guy could change it all around for Fernandez. God, the looked like they have gone for shattered. It looks like they were going to relegation early. Amazing, the club slumped there this season. Same group of players, a free kick for Landis. Ah, goalie. He didn't even put it over the wall. He put it on the goalie side, and the goalie still couldn't get it. He positioned himself too, too, uh, 
if I mind you off, I don't know, there's a wall of off. I think I were some command that's just to pull up the wall. Yeah, there's a ducky in the wall as well. Happy dog! No, thank you. Yeah, I was watching a uh, start lock and I watched a great documentary on ESPN thirty for thirty. It was um it was called Mir oh yeah, oh, Miracles of Men. It was about the Soviet Union ice hockey team. So just as around the Soviet Union here with Lobnowski. So about the Soviet Union ice hockey team in the seventies and eighties. They were um just one of the greatest ice hockey teams of all time. They were playing behind they were probably playing domestically in Russia of course. Um but yeah, they destroyed everyone. They were way ahead of their time to training methods and the science behind it all, and they showed they these clip, the rare footage of them training. It was almost like the, it was like that the soccer was all about space actually, utilizing space on the ice hockey rink. <coughs> they were showing their training, their summer training, that they were training on the beach, and fucking hell, these guys were absolutely ripped. The build of them, and this is only 70s now, because way ahead of their time. They were like uh, bodybuilders nowadays, they were 30 years ahead of their time, the conditioning they had. It's crazy, like now last year here, just training methods. But um Yeah, and used to, the players used to dread the end of the players used to dread when the hockey season finished. But then the coach, who's kinda of like Lavanovsky, is a mad scientist, he's really trained really hard, like really big in fitness. And uh so when the hockey season was over, he put them into summer camps. The players used to fucking hate it because it was just miserable um, physical training out on the beach. He used to kill them with physical training. They love playing the ice hockey with the games, and then as soon as the season's over, they go, no, you know, the season's over, we're going to haunt them. This is the app session, it's like pre season training to kill them. But uh, they used to be locked up in camps for 10 months of the year for the Soviet Union team. They're all employed by the army, so they weren't professional per se, but they were because they were paid by the army. But they were, they were away from their families for 10 months of the year, they used to hate it. But they were unstoppable, they were unreal. They used to win those world championships. Um, it's a great documentary, ESPN, also super documentaries, they're 30 for 30 ones, but. Um, yeah, they wiped the floor with a lot of teams, and then they had these great games with uh, Canada. Canada is like the biggest ice hockey nation in the world, all the best players. So uh, the Russians had to test themselves against Canada. They had some great series with them, but they used to wipe the floor with them in town, guys. The Russians, but the Canadians then are so filthy. They realised that they had to, um, couldn't beat them playing ice hockey. Boys just run rinks, skate rinks around them, so they had to resort to filthy tactics. And they had a lot of fucking nasty characters, Canadians. A bit like the Argentinians I was talking about in the stream. Uh, episode, what was going on with the uh, Languestra, a bit like that. They showed footage of the Canadians playing them and they were just slashing them down with the, the hockey sticks. They were like whacking their arms, breaking their arms and, and whacking sticks off their legs and tripping up with the, with the sticks and everything. But the Russians would not react. They, could, they would not lose their temper, they just get on with the game. Like the boys, the Canadians would be blatantly cheating, like and bowling and dirty tackles. But the, the Russians would not react. They were just under strict warnings you were to win the game and it wouldn't react to them like you've been sinned in so this wouldn't react because there's so much pressure on them to represent Russia and the Soviet Union in the world stage when it came to these games. There were big instructions to win these games so they wouldn't, they couldn't react because they were afraid it cost the team the game like they knew what would happen when they got home then they lost the game so no way would these Russian guys react. It was amazing discipline like great temperament. It's crazy they played it's so filthy they just the Russians got on with the game like and took the beating, took the physical beating and just played them off the field and played hockey. And yeah, it was amazing discipline the really one react. The training was crazy. They were in camp 10 to 10 months a year, they were miserable. But they were the best. They lost then, they fucking lost. It's called uh, the 1982 World Rowing Games. They lost in the 1982 Olympic Finals to the bloody Americans in Los Angeles. Sickening. Um, yeah, they lost at the final of bloody the, the, the video footage of the fucking Americans and outside stadium afterwards going USA, USA, fucking sickening shit. The ball teams lose to those sickeners. But uh, of course the Western um, Western media got their hands in that story then like it was the big thing. They made a fucking film in Hollywood. They, Disney made a film of it then of course the uh, Miracles of Men is called. That's called Miracle. They made the other Brian, was it Kurt Russell to play um Kurt Russell played the American coach and they, they like they bastardized the Russians and really put real baddies like 
and they he was all the Americans like they were like oh the Americans big underdogs blah 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 against the big Russians and it's quite the opposite actually when you get the real story about the Russians the Russians are actually the guys they're in miserable conditions back in the Soviet Union training all year round the players were miserable it's quite sickening but they lasted really and you realise what they were sacrificing from Mother Russia the film of course and have you paint them as baddies like even Drago and uh, the great Americans putting them down and the underdogs fucking sickening <laughs> bloody Disney yeah, as I saw that, the American crowd outside the stadium afterwards, USA, USA, I was like, fuck it. It's you see in the documentary. It's bloody sick thing. The great story, though, the last 25 minutes of the documentary, they dedicate to uh, the Russian captain. I'm going to get on this and talk about it afterwards. You know, it's getting on through the soccer, it was kind of, it's kind of loud. The soccer team would have been going through, actually, at the time. The Soviet soccer team. They got to, uh, I forgot to talk about Euro 88, actually, for a time about that afterwards. Lomonovsk was in charge of uh, Soviet Union during Euro 88, got to find Great manager. Right, uh, what, what did we do with the last game? Dot was out, surely, is he? Is he suspended? He's not. It's his second week playing without a uh, wage. He'd be suspended now for three weeks to get paid. Uh, who is out? Thompson. Well, there's Mahan, and he's put a, a dedicated defense midfielder there. So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to be losing out. Actually, yeah, I was fucked. We'll put Soji in a sweep, but it's more defensive today. We'll give Rose defensive field a roll. Talbot, Thompson, Hauser. Stormbridge is unlucky again, the bench really. What did Benjamin do in the last game? Eight. Tired. They're all going to tire now. The fitness training is up. They're struggling with it. Uh, last match. This would have been um, Lavanasi's dream now, all these stats, he would love these. To have the call off, to have a, a hand. He would have loved all this shit, analysing players. But here you see it, one of his uh, coaches on the sideline doing shorthand for the start and stuff. Amazing, really. A lot of technology that they were able to get all these stats, system put up in place. Right, last game. La 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 la. Then we'll have nothing to stream. Finish off stream now, lads. We're always losing your last game of stream. It's been a foul mood, wrecks him away. This has been a good stream though, I wouldn't go through games. We've got right back at the table. And let's finish it off. Alright, done well. Our Shevchenko, <coughs> he's our Rebrov. Um, it's a great goal. I'll show you a video. I'm going to show you a video. Shevchenko's goals in 99, their run. Um, gets a great one against um, Real Madrid in the Bernabeu. But fucking Rebrov wins a brilliant header. Comes in from here. I was a cross guy, it's crossy out jumps to the central defender, I don't know who it was, he or someone. Small guy, Revrov was, but he just fucking great header near and knocked through and Shevchenko ran through. Shevchenko was 1 1, so you were done, like, you were dead. No way, what did he miss? Ice in the veins, that fella. Alright, okay. So the preparers went forward. I was near that guy, was he? Near the left wing. Karazovsky, Kazovsky. Never heard of him. Katsu, okay, yeah. Win that's fucking me, he ruled me the last time. I'm not gonna fall for that twice, my friend. Rose, get on it. Like a as the Argentinians would say, my land master uh, say, like a stamp. Stick on, like a stamp. Box. <laughs> oh god, can't end these streams, can't finish them off. I think we're at this formation sketch here, uh, three white guys at the back, we're wide open. Got lucky the last game. Give it to them for Come on, Dunwell. Well. Get in. Fuck yeah. And Jesus Williams and Duff. Chase it, lads. Yeah, oh Jesus, they fight shots though. Fuck, we're getting on top of them, right? Well. Come on, done well. We're better than this. Let's finish get a draw, but that's really happy. Tell they're playing under skins. Brian Carey, Irish, I remember him. Came back to Cork City. Yes! Come on! So they are first class. Woodwork! Yes, Rosie! Come on! 
Get another one. I'm getting greedy. Oh, oh, come on. Williams. Gonna leave one in now. Doing alright. Golf is tiring. And then. Golf hour. Fuck it. We're being accurate at least. Um, Golf, I'm missing next three games. I can rest up. Party wants. Come on, lads. It's been great now. Finish off this. What a win. Hold on to this. Yes! Brilliant! Did I actually won our last game stream? We were lucky. Well, we weren't. A bit more shot than target. They were wasteful in front of the goal. 3 out of 9. Yes! Come on, soldier. Race I, Benjamin Dunwell. It's a job. Victory. Benjamin. Victory from sweep. We're going to assist. Probably in the corners, is it? Rose Dunwell. Corner, yeah, victory lifted into the corner. Brilliant. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's it there now. Victor Lavanowski. But yeah, as I was saying, the Russian training methods with the this ice hockey team, great documentary, but they fabricated the last 25 minutes their captain, famous guy Slava, I used to call him. But uh he wanted to go to the NHL, like he was sick of fucking playing with the Soviet Union and he wanted to go to the NHL. He won't let him out, of course, because the Soviet Union tried to keep him at home. But then they started opening up Russia, Khrushchev came along, he used per glass mass per strike and all these bloody things to to make the nation more modern. So he kept playing for a visa and the, the manager of the team was a nasty piece of work. He kept saying to Slava, like, well, stay around for the next tournament and we'll let you go and then stay around for the World Championships, we'll let you go after that. And then he'd say, stay around for the Olympics, we'll let you go after that. And he kept, when he'd say that to Slava and walk out of the room, then he'd go to the government and say, no, don't let this guy go, we need him. So he'd tell him once in his face, blatantly lying, and then he'd go to the government saying, nah, don't leave this guy out, don't leave this guy go. Well then go to the uh, NHL. Then um NHL we're gonna sneak him out. They always said, Come on, we'll sneak you out, no problem. Get you into America. But he said, No, I want to do it the right way, he wants to get an official visa so he can lead the way for future Russian players to play abroad. Um uh, so eventually he got it, he just forced his hand, he went public as well. Uh which is a big no no in the Soviet Union go public against the government, but the government kinda of changed it at the time. But the big thing was the players backed him. All the other Soviet players said, Yeah, leave this guy go, it's given enough of his country. They did a big interview on TV, it was a big thing at the time. And they said, This guy's done enough, his country let him go. Uh, we all want him to go. If he doesn't go, we're going to stop playing, basically. They said, So they backed him up, so they had to leave him go. And that was the start of them. He was the first ever Russian to get a working visa abroad. Not, not, not alone a hockey player, but the uh, first uh, guy in general to get a working visa abroad. They're a hockey captain. Of course, he was on to smash it in the NHL. He's a fantastic player for back. But, um, so he led the way, and the five guys ended up at Detroit. Then they had a Russian five, they're called. So they won everything in the game, the Soviet team. And um, I know this is in soccer now, I'm just fucking get distracted when I finished here now. But uh, they won everything in the game, and they, they were a Champions Olympics. And then they won the Stanley Cup, that was a big thing for them. Five of them were playing for the Detroit Red Rings, they're called the Russian five. So they won it all, really. But yeah, it was, it's worth a watch. But oh yeah, so I was comparing with the. Well, Novnowski was in charge of. Um, Russia, Euro 88, they got to the final. He did very well with them. Got to the final, they lost to the Dutch, the great Dutch team with Van Basten, Hullet, Krumen, um, Roy Carr and these guys, and Van Basten scored a ridiculous volley, a tight angle. But they beat, they actually beat the Dutch team in group stage, they beat England as well, they beat Italy in the semi final. So that was the video at the start, that was Ancelotti at start to top of their fitness, they just couldn't run them. So they're all fucking accusations with drugs, of course, these Russian athletes. But uh, so yeah, now we're going to success with Russia as well. Their final, they're, they're like, they missed the penalty in the final, but the big thing was their sweep was suspended for the final. And Lavanovsky said the sweep was the most important player on the team at the time. It was a disaster for him. He was gone for the final. Don't think they would have beaten that Dutch team in there. Well, they might have actually beat them in the group stage. But a uh, huge loss. Alright, final verdict. We did well, Lavanovsky, you did as well today, kid. Our tactics. So we won two out of three of the first formation. The 75 one that he used to win the Champions Cup, or the Coppers Cup. Then we won two out of three as well with the 85 Cup Runners Cup team and we won two out of three with the Dynamo Kiev team. Brilliant. So we only lost one game on stream and that was a fucking disaster one. It was awful. Lost the head. That's brilliant. That was climbed way up the table. It was exactly what we needed. We won one, two, three, four, five clean sheets. 
Okay, you're gonna leave that one. And that one, two dollars. I'll leave it on there. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're gonna shot the target to go to the man of the match. Paul Jones. I'll leave it on this way, yeah, there we go, Blackpool. I don't know, because that was a fucking tight game. Yeah, couldn't. That's a fair result, really. Finn, Danny Coyd. Can't believe they got Finn in there. Jesus. Right, tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be home up tomorrow. So, man, tonight, thank God. Social life is starting to open back up again. So, I'll probably be back on tomorrow. Pray to God. I think it's the fourth board. I want to save this in a success this was uh, results wise for man 50 long last year four matches get more modern now of course we're moving on time so yeah there is first so that's the first two there one two three so three streams done in season two so we're going to have five done so last two are oh yes carlos ballardo wing backs talked a lot about him in the uh, land of western want this one filthy character he was in the field some great stories about him. Go back and listen to it. About the shit he's getting out on the field. But he was out to manage Argentina 690 to play wing backs. England missed out on the big chance beating them. Uh, Bobby Robson got badly around the 86. John Wilson goes into it in the book. He could have exploited their wing backs, but he was a good start. John Barnes, major fuck up. And Chris Waddle, so he started them in the wings, they pissed that all around Argentina's wing back system, but they didn't. And the boss to do it, Bobby Robson. And the last one, that'll be 4 4 fucking 2. So that's about. Um, um, Paisley, he's Liverpool, 70s, great team, dog leash, soon as all these guys. Moves on to Clough, in the 80s, super team, Nottingham Forest, John Robertson, and United for obviously he talks about that, the 90s, talks about. Uh, Graham Taylor's Watkins as well, he goes big into that in that chapter. So I'll be talking all about that in the 4 4 2. But next one, tomorrow, please God, be the Larry Wing Backs, 86 and 90, the great Maradona. Who's going to do the Maradona role? We have him tomorrow. Any of us in that team? I can think of 86 and 90. Right, we'll see tomorrow. Probably know some names when they see him. Right, I'm going to leave you with uh, Shevchenko, as I said. Um, yeah, like when I was a kid in the 90s, this team were a great team. Champions League in the 90s was awesome, actually. Some brilliant teams. When I was growing up, bloody uh, Dortmund and all these guys. Well, they're just dominated by Barcelona and Real. Some teams remember. Some great players. Really exciting. Um, these guys came in the 90s then. I was like, who the fuck are these? They were outstanding in 98, 99. They beat Barcelona 4 in 98 in the New Camp, and they beat the Trina in uh, Kiev. Pissed all over them. The group stage, they had Newcastle as well in that group. Newcastle, PSV, and Barca. Was dug it. No one expected them to get out of it. But yeah, you see Shevchenko's goals here in 99, going right to the semi final. Um, you'll see his goals here now. Towards the end, he starts going over the goals. As soon as he gets 1 1, you're dead, like. Uh, 